everybody and welcome to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions Cup and here we are intriguingly down to the last eight and you're going to see the whole action now as it unfolds all the late coverage and the player to watch Mario Balotelli four goals in his last three games really looking the business as we get to the business end of the season he's come back of course from injury and he's looking the goods now Burnley now need him in that sort of form because he now lines up alongside uh, Danny Ings up in attack. Them two have really hit it off again since Balotelli's return. Hughes and Bojan uh, part of each other with Neymar on the left hand side. What about the Italian champions Juventus? Well they've got the evergreen Gigi Booth on in goals for them. Uh, Atomoa and Mandzukic and the men charged there. Alongside them is Estina, De Bruyne, Gadira and Marquisio. A very formidable midfield threesome. Uh, Gigi Buffon now into his, into his 40s, 41 years old. Former Parma goalkeeper, of course. Jan Rabel is the referee tonight from France. And it will be the old lady of Italian football, Juventus, in the black and white stripes to get us away then, and a very rain-soaked turf moor. So off we go then. Away we go. Juventus kicking off, attacking the goal to our left. Astida, Isla, first leg, remember, of the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup. Butland now to Neymar. Boyan, Hughes, cut out by Isla. Repeat the course of last season's semi final. Referee gives a foul against Brendan Galloway there. Free kick to Juventus. So far, looking very, very good at the moment. Even though there's a lot of rain, it's typical Lancashire weather. It's the French referee, Rabal. Lines up this free kick. A straight shot to De Bruyne. Now on to Astina. Tackle there by Ings getting back there. That was good. Says about defending, but here's David Luiz, the former Chelsea man. Mansuk is leading in. Astina shot. And almost the opening goal there for Juventus. Digging it out with his right foot and just clearing Butland's crossbar, but not by much. That's for sure, and uh, the former Stoke and Birmingham City youngster happy to see that one just about clear his crossbar. Tamin is gone then, no goals. Boyan to Hughes to Jay Rodriguez. Good running by the skipper. Rodriguez hit Louise. Now they tell you when the overhead. Why did the ball? Why did the park that time? In fact, there was an offside flag there from the French official on the near side. As you see there, there's the shot from Rodriguez. And Balotelli just a couple of yards, maybe more there, fractionally offside. No score then. Coming up to a quarter of an hour gone. De Bruyne. And so gets to Astida. Comes on the cover. And did very well, and he found his skipper. Now Boyan. He's got Balotelli up ahead of him, and Ings is alongside him as well. And he's also got Rodriguez on the way on the far side, but that's not a good ball by Boyan. He's straight in the arms of Gigi Buffon. Uh, to give him his proper name, Gianluigi Buffon. And Stones and Shawcross got across now. What's the referee giving here? He's giving a penalty. The French referee has given a penalty. It was Shawcross's tackle. The referee took a little eternity. Yellow card given. And this is not going down well with the turf ball faithful, that's for sure. Shawcross is booked. Burnley are incensed. Should it have been a penalty? Well, the referee certainly played an advantage. It was just, it was Mantukic. He tripped or perceived to have tripped. Well, he's trying to block the ball and he's took the man. It looks harsh, the yellow card, but the penalty is not in doubt, I suppose. So, Jack Butland has to face a penalty. 
And it's going to be Mario Mandzukic to take in the Champions League winner himself with Bayern Munich in his in them days. So Mandzukic for one nothing Juventus. And that is what it is. And away go as well for Juventus. They go one nothing clear. And Burnley have got it all to do with 27 minutes of the game gone. And the Italians celebrate. Well, that's the price you pay for sliding in. Butler went the wrong way. Good penalty there by Mantukic. Kept the goalkeeper the eyes and the hips. And pop it away. And John Stones, the look on his face, sees it all. So Burnley one nothing down, have an away goal against their name. And the team chasing the treble have now got a couple behind. Remember, it's not all over because it's over two legs, of course. There's the, there's the second leg at the Aventus Stadium next week. So all's not lost yet. But here's Neymar trying to shot. And only just wide, but Chichi Buffon was scrambling across his goal for all his worth for 41 years of him. And he knew that wasn't far away from the Brazilian. But it is a goal kick, but Juventus now with this one nothing lead have really got themselves a real platform and an away goal to boot. And Isla now. Mandzukic who's got the goal. Kadira. Marquisios back to Kadira again. And Juventus attacking with all might at the moment. But here's Rodriguez. The skipper now trying to lead from example, but Hughes couldn't, and Mandzukic has been tripped again. And the French referee just trotted across, not running across at a rapid rate. And not, it's a red card! I do not believe that decision! That is a totally, totally an overreaction. And Rodriguez is telling Hughes, it's no good arguing, son. You have to go. I cannot believe that is a red card offence. It's a foul, maybe a yellow card, but that's a first offence. And Burnley now down to 10 men and trailing now. And De Bruyne is taking the three kick. It rules Hughes out of the second leg next week in Turin. Well, the French referee is not many, too many friends here with the Burnley public. There was no matter of a tackle than the short cross one, which led to the penalty. And he's played short in the groin. And now to Marquisio. And Astino has got three. Marquisio again. And Kitira shoots over. Well, that would have resulted into an even bigger room then if uh, Kitira had made it 2 nothing, 2 nothing there. It's really got the Burnley fans backs up now, that red card decision. And it's given away again, Astina, and he's beaten Stones, this is weak defending. Astina with a delicate cross, but Butler cuts the ball out, tries to get Burnley going again. We're in a five out of minutes at the end of the first half, and look at Rodriguez and Balotelli now forward, and Balotelli's dispossessed him. And another bow back across to Gigi Buffon. Marquisio, Boyan, up to Rodriguez, this will be the last play of the first half, Rodriguez cross, Cellini with a header, and the half-time whistle goes, a half full of controversy, a penalty for Juventus, which gave them the lead, followed by Shawcross, and Burnley trail to a penalty and then Hughes got controversially sent off and Burnley trail at half time welcome back to the second half where Burnley are forced into a half time change Danny Inks is going to have to be making way for off the stick so it means Burnley now back to two back to four but trail to one nothing to Mario Mantic so Balotelli now is the main man up front but Burnley now have their full complement of four midfielders in, but have lost, uh, but have had to sacrifice a striker as we get on the way and nearly throw the Juventus. Looking at the uh, yellow, the red card again for Will Hughes. It looks very harsh on the face of it. 
And I think the referee, and I said it at the time, and I'll say it again, that was a real overreaction because Shawcross made a similar challenge for the penalty and uh, he got a yellow for it. He got a caution card. Here's Marquisio. And Astini can't make it and that will be a goal kick to Burnley. one nothing down they trail. And really... Need to up their game, need to up their passing rate a lot better. 67% to 85% uh, from Juve. And uh, Boyan, sweet skills. Still going, the Spaniard. Boyan, good shot! And Gigi Buffon with an unbelievable save. That's better. Good right footer. And Buffon stretching his 41 year old body to a dramatic effect to turn it away for a corner. So it's going to be Neymar Jr. with the corner then for Burnley. Ten minutes of the second half played. And he'll get another goal. Neymar. Berrettelli's in there. But he's offside. Better from Burnley. Good defending though from Juventus. Everybody came out. And Gigi Buffon curiously chips it into the path of Chiellini. Not sure what he was doing there. Stones cuts that out. Loftus cheek. Balotelli, good chest control, but he's isolated by three UVA defenders. Not the end of the world if Burnley lose this game tonight. They're still going to never leg it in in a fortnight. They can't afford to go two down. Otherwise, the job is three times harder. But here's Marquisio. And Mandzukic has made it 2 nothing, And it's a disastrous night for Burnley. The European Cup holders are on the break here. In the first leg of this quarterfinals. And it's that man again. Mandzukic that makes it 2 nothing. Juventus. Here it is again. Burnley not clearing their lines properly. The ball played back in. And Mandzukic firing it past. And it's sparing... Despairing Jack Butland and Burnley two nothing down, down to ten men, and there is complete utter shock and disbelief around Turf Moor, unless you are in the David Fish weekend to the right hand side, where 4,000 Juventus supporters are making their voices very much heard. Substitution for Juventus, De Bruyne is on. Or coming off. And what a moment that is for uh, Alex, uh, Alex Allegri, the former Milan manager, of course, now with Juventus, leading them to glory here. But they've got Ruben off his cheek now. Berlin really need to hit back. So two away goals then for Juventus. But here's off his cheek. Off the cheek! Oh, he pulled it wide! But they're getting chances now, the 10 men. They've really got to stick at it now. But they're 2 0 down. But the effort again has been matched by the superb tactics of Massalegri. And his Juventus. And his Juventus outfit. And Mandzukic now on a hat trick. And it's Atamola trying to curl it back. Oh. Dangerous moments, these. This is the second one. And you've got to blame Shawcross. He wasn't tied on the marking. And it went in the back of the net. So two nothing Juventus. Less than a, just than 20 minutes to go. Now the skipper Rodriguez. Burnley with a game against West Bromwich Albion coming up in the Premier League. But here's Rodriguez! Yes, no, yes! They're back in it! It's 2-1! And now Tupmore believes! And it's the captain, Rodriguez, leading by example. Good run into the penalty box. Great save by Gigi Buffon. But Rodriguez carried on the run and nods it into an empty net. And all of a sudden, it's swinging again. Burnley won, Juventus two, and what a game. And there's still a quarter of an hour of superb action still to come. Fantastic stuff.
So 2-1 Juventus. What a game. What a game here at Turf War tonight. And if the second leg in Turin in a week's time is anything like tonight, well, we're going to have our money's worth. Alaba. 12 minutes left. Alaba again. And he's playing it into the corners. I think that's a, a not a sensible thing to do considering that Juventus now have had their lead cut to one. And they are keeping possession, but have lost it now to Trippier. Well, off to cheek, good patient play. Now Neymar, now this guy can motor and he gets on the ball. And he's still going, still going Neymar, still he's going. Neymar, goal! It's a brilliant goal by Neymar! It's 2-2 two -two, and there's five minutes left to play! And what a superb comeback by the Comics who are dead and buried at 2 nothing down! And have fought their way back! And have scored two cracking goals! And Tupmoor believes once again! No chance for Buffon! And Neymar gives it the fist pumps! Gives Blue and Loftus Cheek a hug! It's two all with four minutes to go. Four minutes of superb action still to come. And who knows? It's not a bad result still for Juventus with two away goals, but it really puts Burnley right back in this quarterfinal. What a game. What a superb game. And here's Kadira though for Juventus. Oh, what a dramatic game. Well, we've had our money's worth tonight, and I'm sure you guys watching this at home have enjoyed it as well. And it's been a pleasure to commentate and uh, bring this to you. And the 22,000 here inside Turf Moor tonight has certainly had their money's worth. This is Balotelli. Now, wouldn't this be written in the start if we could get a winner here? It's Balotelli, right foot! Oh, he's at the post! At the post! How unlucky can you get? Beautiful strike with the right foot from the Italian. And he beat Gigi Buffon for all of the money. And it hits the bottom of the upright. Well, look at that. Ten shots to five. And it ends two all. What a game. The ten man fought back from two nothing down. Mandzukic added to his earlier penalty early on in the second half. But then... Then Rodriguez dragged Burnley back in it, and then right at the end, Neymar made it 2 2, and it's game on now. Juventus, meanwhile, still have two away goals, but it's game on for Turin in a week's time. The final score then after the first leg of this European Champions Cup quarter final here on a dramatic and controversial night here at Turk Moor. It's finished Burnley 2, Juventus 2.